Welcome back to my channel, where once again I'm going to be talking about an N64 game that didn't release. But I'm not talking about that one. No, no, today is dedicated to something special. A little game known as Cabbage. Now, what could this cabbage specimen be, perhaps? Hopefully this video will answer that burning question. Before I begin, I should explain how I came to know about this game, because it's probably not what you would expect. Sometime in high school, one of my longtime friends was talking to me about Nintendo stuff, as we usually did, and he told me about this game that was a cancelled N64DD game by the creator of Earthbound, the main director of Pokemon, and Shigeru Miyamoto. I had no idea what he was talking about, so he looked it up and showed me. Cabbage, a life simulator game that was indeed being developed by Shigesato Itoi, Tsunekazu Ishihara, and Shigeru Miyamoto, as well as Satori Iwata. What a lineup. I was dumbfounded how I had never heard of this game previously, considering how deep I was into N64 Mother 3 research at the time, but nonetheless, I was happy to have finally learnt about the existence of this unknown game. What exactly is Cabbage, though? From what we know, it was a life simulator game that would use the real-time clock of the 64DD to provide an immersive, large world for your creature to roam around in. With that out of the way, it's time to give an outline of Cabbage's development. Cabbage was first revealed as early as April 1997, being spoken about alongside Mother 3 in an issue of 64 Dream. They revealed that Cabbage was only a tentative title that didn't have any meaning, and he toyed drew comparison towards Tamagotchi. Yeah, you're familiar with what Tamagotchi are, right? Little electronic pets that usually came in little battery-powered handhelds? So far, this info could help deduce Cabbage would be something like that, but as a full video game. In the December 1997 issue of 64 Dream, Itoi and Miyamoto gave a little more insight on Cabbage. Itoi revealed that Cabbage was something that could have only come about thanks to the 64DD. I came up with a lot of ideas because of the 64DD. All things start with the 64DD. There's so many ideas I wouldn't have been allowed to come up with if we didn't have the 64DD, including the game Cabbage. This is what else Miyamoto and Itoi had to say. How about the official title for Cabbage? It's not decided yet, but the title Cabbage is strangely popular. <laughs> it's just something I randomly blurted out though. Either way, being asked about the title makes me want to just stick with Cabbage. <laughs> Maybe there was some subconscious connection with Cabbage Patch Kids. At this point, I think Cabbage would be just fine. It's not that there aren't other names on the board though. It seems they were fully content at this point at using Cabbage as the final game's title. I think I would be too if I was them. Who wouldn't want to buy a game named Cabbage? Anyways, how is Cabbage coming along? We can finally see it all coming together. Now that Iwata from HAL Laboratories joined us, the tools we're using to make Cabbage are drastically modernizing. Making those tools is the most laborious part. So it looks like that part's finishing up, and then there's a team that's solidifying the specifications. So right now we're in the middle of docking the two together. So it's all moving forward. I'd like to be very vivid when debuting the characters, so please wait a little longer. We aren't planning on showing it at the exhibition in November. After all, we're flying this game under the radar of the Nintendo president. That's what's fun about it. Its debut might not be until early next year. Those are some hopeful sounding words. It really feels as if they were making some good progress on this game. Come 1998, however, news on the game had become sparse. News about the game continued to be sparse until March 2000. In a 64 Dream interview, Itoi did reveal that Cabbage, quote, the friendship game, was still in development. And then, nothing. Unlike Mother 3, which of course got its cancellation blog, Cabbage got nothing, it was just quietly forgotten. Yet another unreleased game to add to the pile of broken dreams of the 64 DD. After this, you'll be pressed to find any mention of it afterwards. However, in an interview from a 2006 issue of Nintendo Dream with Miyamoto, he said, Itoi and Ishihara got busy. Mother 3 was becoming too much of a behemoth that it took more of Itoi's time than he was anticipating, and Ishihara was wrapped up in the ever-growing late 90s empire of Pokemon. That's basically the reason it seems why the game never released. You could say the failure of the 64DD also contributed to this, but I'd say it's less the failure of the add-on itself, 
but the failure of Nintendo to actually get the damn thing out on schedule. Remember, the 64DD only released because RanNet really wanted it out. Nintendo seemed to be fine with it just becoming vaporware. Regardless, the game seemingly wasn't able to be downgraded to just a base N64 game, seeing as Cabbage made use of the internal clock of the DD, likely as well as other features, so it was really put on the back burner and eventually forgotten. I'm not sure where else I should mention this, but IGN reported that Worried to leave the creature alone for too long? Transfer the creature over to your Game Boy, supposedly using a Game Boy version of the same game, and take it with you. Nintendo says that you can also buy additional equipment data for a very low price that will alter the game and cause your creature to develop differently. The only reason I'm putting this separate from the other info I presented before is because IGN in that era presented info that wasn't... real. Such as Mother 3.5, literally a product that never existed. So, take what IGN said back then with a grain of salt. A huge grain. Although, to be fair, IGN wasn't the only English source to report this, but I didn't find a Japanese source with this info, so it's possible other English publications were using IGN as a source. Now you may wonder to yourself, what did this game even look like? We don't know. Genuinely, we don't. They never showed a single screenshot or anything. Literally any idea as to what this game could have been is tenuous at best, considering we have no visual as to what this game would even resemble. What a shame. As sad as it is that Earthbound 64 never saw the light of day, at least the characters and story got to be revived with Mother 3 on GBA. Cabbage never got that luxury, its legacy to only be a tiny footnote of the Nintendo 64's history. Maybe it's time to bring it back. Come on. Hashtag revive cabbage. Let's get that trending. Well, to be fair, Miyamoto did admit that Animal Crossing and Nintendogs did end up taking inspiration from cabbage, so I guess it didn't end up completely forgotten. Still though, them bringing back cabbage now would be neat, not gonna lie. Either way, thanks for watching this video. More content is coming soon, and if you'd like to help me in bringing it sooner, please consider leaving a donation on my Ko-fi page, aka my tip jar. See you guys all later.